Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you how we're going to make the aloo gobi at home. It's a very simple dish and it's very popular in the restaurant and I've had loads of requests for this dish and I'm on this uh, vegan uh, sort of style recipe which is very popular at the moment so I thought why not. Now um, I'm going to have this with some chapatis, you can have it with rice and so on but it's such a versatile dish and it's so popular in the Indian restaurants and takeaways. So today guys, aloo gobi that you can do at home. <clears throat> so put it on a high heat, I've got my pan, now just vegetable oil, so one, two, three, about four tablespoons of vegetable oil. So the oil has heated up, now I'm going to add one teaspoon of Cumin. Also, I'm going to add three Bangladeshi bay leaf, which is the test fata. <coughs> so, the cumin, the bay leaf, has been um, in that hot oil for about a minute or two. <coughs> That's one onion. Diced up, just whacked it in. Right, this is the khalunji, which is the nigella seeds, the onion seeds. So all I want to do, a good pinch of that. <clears throat> that toastiness is just coming through, beautiful. Now the garlic and ginger paste that I normally have, so this is about two teaspoons. Fragrance is beautiful. Just gonna add a splash of water. Gonna reduce the heat to a medium heat. The reason why I've added the water, because I can see the oil was really hot. And I didn't want the cumin or the bay leaf to that sort of burn. I didn't want that bitter taste. Now I'm going to add the salt. So one. This is about one and a half teaspoons of salt that is. You can use one, it's fine. So the onions normally takes about eight to ten minutes because I've not used too many. So it should soften up. lid on. Right, the onions have been cooking away for about eight to nine minutes. Right, I'm going to add the spices, which are uh, one teaspoon of chili powder, Kashmiri chili powder that is. I want it to be spicy but medium. You can use half if you don't like it too hot and definitely you can use about two teaspoons if you like a sort of um, madras strength. One teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of general curry powder, I normally use the East End brand, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. The fragrance just hits you as soon as that hits the oil, the spices, that is beautiful. There you go. For all the flavours, this is the tomato puree, I normally have this on my channel, so have a look. It's got the cassiuri methi, ginger, garlic, quite a lot of ingredients on here. So that's one tablespoon. This is going to be like a thickener and it also makes the spices come together. There we go, the onions are softening up beautifully. Now also to this, <clears throat> these are two tomatoes, very small sized. Um, I've diced up one of them to make the sauce a thickener and I'm going to use this as wedges sort of towards the end. So I want the spices to cook which has been doing for a few minutes. 
Now, this is the potatoes. I'm using the baby potatoes. It's like a salad potato, it's like a waxy with the skin on, it's gorgeous. And I've got um, some cauliflower, fresh cauliflower. I've used half, so it's about 300 grams um, of each uh, potato and the cauliflower. But I'm gonna add the potatoes first. Potatoes takes about 15, 20 minutes to soften up to perfection, depending on the potatoes. Like these ones normally takes about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna cook this for about 10 minutes, then I'm gonna add the cauliflower because you don't want mushy cauliflower. You want the cauliflower to have a little bite to it. Right, it's been a few minutes, the potato has been cooking away. I just wanted some of the masala and everything to penetrate the potato. I've just used about a cup of water because this is going to help the potatoes soften up. Now some people what they do is they boil the potatoes or steam the potatoes and cauliflowers and add it in. But I believe uh, this is better to cook it this way because the potatoes release its uh, vegetable stock sort of to the water. So it creates a fantastic uh, flavour and flavour is the most important thing. There you go. Now I'm going to put it on a medium high heat. Whack the lid back on. And now I'm going to give it a good 10 minutes which I need a bit of patience. Right, the potato has been cooking away for the last 10 minutes. Beautiful, there you go. Sauce has thickened up amazingly. Now I cooked it on a high heat uh, for about a good five to six minutes, then I put it on a medium low heat because the, obviously the water was evaporating quickly. So it's been a good 10 minutes. <clears throat> Now I'm going to add the cauliflowers. Now you can see the water has dried up, so what I'm going to do, add... That was another cup of water, put the gas on a high heat. And what's going to happen is the water is going to reduce back down to the correct consistency that I want. So not a very saucy dish, but a nice thick sauce, as you would get in the restaurants. Put the lid on and I'll come back and check it in about five minutes. The gobi has been cooking away for about five minutes. And the potato, cauliflower, nice sauce, thickening up beautifully. Beautiful. So since I've added the cauliflowers, it's been cooking away for the last five minutes. And now I'm going to put it on a low heat just to soften up the cauliflowers. Potatoes are about ready. So on a low heat. The sauce is going to thicken up to the correct consistency that I want. And once again, guys, if you like it a bit more sauce, just add some water at this point. <clears throat> so I've got about four green chilies that I've just sliced up and some nice tomatoes. Some nice handful of coriander. So that goes in. Put 
the lid on. Now I'm going to give it a five minute cooking time on a medium low heat. As you can see, it's got nice sauce and the oil has come to the top. Everything's cooked absolutely beautifully. There you go. Now the cauliflower is still got a bite to it. The tomatoes have steamed up beautifully. There you go. Oopsie. There you go. Look at this cauliflower. Held its shape. Now don't overcook cauliflowers. It has a weird smell to it and it's just not nice. Whereas this is going to have a nice bite to it. It's going to be beautiful in flavour. And what you can do now to make it even more flavoursome is add da -da 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 -da, pure ghee. But because I'm a good boy, I'm keeping this recipe nice and vegan for you guys. So there you go. Turn it off. Voila. Alu gobi. Beautiful, look at that. You can see the black nigella seeds, the cumin, potato, tomato, the bay leaf, gorgeous. And once again, if you've enjoyed this vegan recipe, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos. And thanks for supporting me.